Okay, and now for side B. We have reinforcements have arrived. Two units undisordered out of seven. Two units rallied out of 11. So that's still nine that did not. And we have seven units routed out of 14 checked. And we have at 0, 13. 0, 13. This, uh, okay. Hmm. It would make more sense if I click this line, it would show me the hex 0, 13. That would be handy. Um, but anyways, I'm sure we can piece it out as we go. All right, so we have a bunch of, okay, so skirmishers routed. We, uh, doesn't look like much happened here. Oh, oh, we got these guys back. They're disordered. Routed, routed, everybody's routed. So the commander was able to get, oh yeah, that's right. This commander only helps the unit that's routed that it's in the same hex as. That, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to take a long time to get everybody back. <laughs> All right. Uh, so what's the plan here? Well, we're going to keep with our plan to get back behind the stream. We need to get so the guns can see, but I think the uh, French are still too far away. But here, we need to clear out, try to give a clear path, and then of course as the French and Swiss, when we play them, we want to try to keep the uh, units in between us. Oh, wait a minute. I don't know. They're up on a slope. They might be able to fire over anyways, but I would think... I'm not sure how that works, but you would think if you were right in front of the unit, uh, it would block the line of sight, but I'm not sure. We will find out. That's why we're doing this. We're figuring out how all the many, many pieces fit together. Okay, so we're going to continue to back off here. What do we got here? Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. Oh, all right. Well, let's, uh, oh my. Well, we want to keep the divisional commander with them. He's got a rating of C. Uh, I know that they can help as well. So let's get them up. Oh, that's as far as they're going to go. And this guy's going to get across the stream. We'll go here. Brigade commander, he's going to go there okay oh I didn't hit Q and I didn't hit C okay so these guys are parts so let's get them let's get them oh we can't quite get there these guys can oh no oh no these guys no well I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to roll one they're gonna have to roll a one the rest of them well, <laughs> that's only going to be a one or two. This guy here, the divisional commander with a rating C, that's a one, two, four, right? Roll one to four. And he'll assist these units with rallying. So hopefully that works out. Well, that doesn't look good here now. All of a sudden, uh, we have some problems. What do we have here? Everybody's disordered. All right, back up, back up. Oh, you actually made it across. I can't believe it. Ah, we got to get out of here. These guys are not routed or disordered. Amazing. Back up. Cover everybody else. Oh, my. Oh, my. What are you doing? Where's your commander? Where is your commander? Way up there. And that divisional commander has a command radius. Okay, 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 okay. Get back up here. Uh, let's go back up here and turn. Ooh, dragoons. Wow. Movement of eight. And I think if you move backwards. Oh. Uh, where is it? You move backwards. 
infantry. Rear round just says rear move two on top of what you would normally have to pay, which would be three. So that would be five. Let's get this. So we're going from one place to the other. There we go. So we don't be able to back up once. Uh, I'd love to get it back on the horses, uh, but that'd be a 16% chance. What do you think? What do you think? I don't think that's a great idea. I think we're going to have to just back up one. What else do we got here? Crossbows are not disordered. These guys are. Okay, okay. Could move around. But uh, actually, the way these guys are, we could actually come right down through the middle. I mean, what else are we going to do with them? All right, you're going to back up. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Run away! Run away! That's good. Uh, run away. Turn. Oh, great. Oh, I can't turn. Okay. Whew. So they're facing towards these two hexes. Cavalry. Now, if I'm right, this block is pointed towards these two hexes here of pikemen. And these crossbowmen are in a line, and their zone of control is here. So here and here, which means my cavalry should be able to come up and right straight through them. Oh. Yeah. Well, that's not so hot. I could come. Ooh, ah. Yeah, and then get shot. These guys are all disordered. They're not in good shape. I need to do something here to get them off of. Alright, let's do this. Let's try this. They're only Stradiots, right? Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Movement allowance. So, the zone of control is only here and here and here and here. I can't tell. I suppose it's too late, right? Yeah, it's too late. How? How did they get stopped? Berg. I don't understand. All right. Well, we're going to hit these guys because they're the only ones we can hit. No effect. Wow. Are these guys armored or something? What's going on? Oh, they are too. They're armored. <laughs> and I believe a javelin. Javelin. Yeah. 3.5. Range one against soft, against hard it's only a one, and then not only that the armor will eliminate ten percent casualties, which was nothing anyways. Obviously, uh, we got these guys. Do we charge? They're low ammo. I mean, we got to do something. We're gonna charge. Here we go. Charge in. Down you come. Take a shot. Yeah, 10 men. They're only at 150 to start with. All right, well, hopefully they can. These are just crossbowmen, so hopefully. Uh, we need to back up. Back up. Who are you? Who are you? All right, backing up. I can actually back up pretty good. Oh, not that great, but back up, boys. These guys are in column. Back up. Still on command range. Dragoons. This just isn't looking. This just isn't looking too hot, is it? No ammo. They have no ammo. Well, they need a supply wagon. Actually, they have one. One, two, three, four, five. Look at that. They're going to resupply. Wait, that supply wagon only has ten supplies. I need to pay attention here. 
but pretty sure that's all going to disappear to resupply some of these or if they don't have enough to do everybody does it not happen we are going to find out do i change formation come down and shoot i'm just setting myself no no we need to get back across the stream do not lose sight of the plant. Yeah, and that's going to disorder us. Let's go next. Uh, I don't really care about you yet. The guns. So we can't see him, but the range is nine. We look at, we have a sacker, right? We do. Sacker at a range of nine is a one. They need to be a little bit closer. I'm not firing. Not with 30 ammo left. All right, all right, all right. Let's keep backing up. Back up. You need to get out of here. You need to get out of here, and uh, we're not going to get away. This is like the... Uh, This is like the Enterprise trying to get away from the Reliant, and you do not have Spock. Uh, all right, up we go. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Oh, I see why. Let's turn you. So you're at least facing the right way. <clears throat> oh my. Well, we need to get all these guys on with the Brigade Leader. All right, so we're going to move 400, 800. What's the stacking limit? 1,600? 1,600. 800. 1,100. 1,433. 1,433. I can't quite do it, but we can do these two. No. Oh, maximum counter. Look, right, right. We can only have five counters. In a hex, and that's what we have. All right, well, you're gonna go here. You're gonna go here. Who have we not moved? Well, the Spanish. The Spanish are not gonna move. <clears throat> We're for This is just. <clears throat> it's just bad. Okay, we're gonna move here. We're gonna turn. And I think we're going to form lines. Yep. What else we got? Crossbows. Let's form a line. That way we can move and not change facing. Alright. 1,100 men. Sword and pike. Okay. We're going to go here. They cannot form mine, they form block, and they form line. Uh, is that okay to do the same hex? Let's find out. Let's find out. Change formation. Unit cannot change line formation already. So you change line formation. Uh huh. So you cannot have. Can't have them together. Can't have them together. Okay. Well, then you're going to move back. No, you're not. You got zero movement. Okay. Well, you know, uh, I could have looked it up on the manual. But uh, my rule is for making these videos is I do not go off uh, reading a manual on the video. So, and I figure usually when I learn the hard way, I learn better. So, uh, lots of learning the hard way here. So they're going to go there, and they're going to change the line. Okay, now that we know that, well, these are both sword. So we're going to go here. What am I doing? Getting in their way? I think we want... I don't know what we're going to do with these guys. Let's form the line. Archibus, Archibus. Let's have one Archibus go here. Turn, line, this one, line, no, no, undo last movement, 
Hey, hey, hey. Proud of myself. Okay, pick that line. Okay, what do we have here? Crossbow, crossbow. Yep, they can both turn to. Actually, this is a good chance right here. So let's change in the line and then right click. Front 43, front 36. So we can have both of these units all firing their crossbows out of the hex because their frontage is less than 100% when you add those two numbers up. We got uh, 49, 79%. And I believe there's a certain gap that has to be in between them. So it's probably in the 80s. So uh, what about here? Disordered. I don't want to bring the cavalry over yet across the stream. Not yet. There might be something I can take advantage of. But then we have these guys. And this guy's got low ammo. So first of all, he's got to get out of here. Bye-bye. We need to get him to a supply wagon. Uh, do we have a supply wagon? Oh, we have reinforcements. Speaking of that. And there's our supply wagon. See how that works? Game read my mind. Now, these are putains. Look like more uh, the ladies, the canteen keepers. They're basically the equivalent of these ones here. Which is really what I want to go after is that cavalry. Uh, well, we need to get down here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we need to get a little bit closer. So I think that just sleep. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, yeah, I definitely will do. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm going to be doing a melee. Be nice to have that marked for, uh, you know, noobs like me that will forget. Can you imagine, like, a huge battle? Like, hopefully, when we go to the melee, there's, like, next melee. Like, trying to remember everything. Okay, so we have these. I wonder, can I charge? I can't charge. I can run over there and hit them with javelins, but that's not going to be that effective. Or I could set myself up for a charge, but I have to be careful of the, uh, this, this, this. I don't think those pikemen can get to me. They're too slow. So we're setting ourselves up to charge. Yes, we are. Let's go here. Here. I don't think you have to do it at the very beginning, right? You just can only charge before moving. So, uh, there we go. We are set up for charge. Ah, you know what? Screw it up. Let's get in there. Okay, well, the canteen keepers, they do pretty good with their little javelins. Let's hit them back with ours. Uh, we want to go after the supply, right? And that only destroys three supplies. Wow. Okay. Regardless, the French and the Swiss are going to have to do something about that. Uh, is there anything else? The army commander here is staying right there for now. Gonsalvo de Corba. You are staying there for now. Oh, command range. Okay, <laughs> that's better. Um... No, you're going to stay there. No, you're not moving. We need you to rally. Oh. Oh, I didn't realize they weren't disordered. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, that's a great idea. No, we're going to stay there. We're going to stay there for now. We're forming up, getting ready. Uh, the French are going to have to come to us. All right, next. All units have been considered. All right, I'm hitting the end turn. And the melee. I had a melee. I know I did. These guys are charging here. Here we go. This is our, our big move. Okay, so we got good odds. Six to one, almost. Five to one. Six to one. Pretty close. Let's see what happens. Ah, you know what? That's, that's a little too expensive with those. We lost 11 to their 23, so they got no ammo. No ammo. They have problems. I can continue. If they have no ammo, they still melee, right? And if I... 
If I keep going after them, I'm just going to walk right into these forces. Ah, can I move back? No units in target hex. You can only go here. Disordered. Cannon. No, it's a supply wagon. Okay, no, I think we're going to go for it. I don't think it's got too much here. I mean, we might as well. 283 to 76. Here we go. Uh, combat. It's all melee. It's better. Alright. Hopefully we make them route. Uh, and I think that is it. That is it for melees. I can't do this one here, right? No. Oh, maybe I can. No. We're detached. Oh, God, that's right. Hold it. Hold it. Yes, right. We're detached. We cannot initiate melee combat. Yep. Okay. Well, lots to learn, but we're going to keep going. I, I, I think it's a great game. I do think it could be uh, more transparent in uh, like the modifiers, man. Like uh, if those could just be, if I so I could help me, even if it's after everything, after the combat, doesn't have to tell you before, but after the combat, if it could tell you, so that you could understand, it's a lot easier to piece things together. Like the melee attack where it gives you 1,400 points. Well, I yes, I can go to the manual. And look it all up and figure it out that this, this, and this is giving me the 1,400 points. But I know the computer is already calculating itself. All it has to do is display it. And it would make the learning curve go way down. Because, okay, oh, I see. I, because I'm, you know, an enfilade. I'm hit, hitting them on their flank or the rear. It gives me, you know, 30%. Or I, I didn't move, so I don't lose that 50%. Or, or whatever. Like all those modifiers could be shown very easily and it doesn't have to be before the combat right so you still have you know you still have to know it yourself but if it would show it after the combat it would really help remembering learning and putting all the pieces together anyways i only say that because i really really like these games yes i'll keep going at it until i remember them all but it would have been a lot faster the pro the game was showing me underneath the hood, so to speak. And it would make the games more accessible. And that's my opinion. In my opinion. Anyways, that's all I have. We will be back at turn 8 tomorrow. Until then, take care, guys, and have a great night.